Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm at Tinker Field, historic Tinker Field. It just celebrated its 100th birthday, but it wasn't a celebration at all. It was more of a doom and gloom because the future does not look good for this place. Uh, many things have been ripped out, from what I understand. I don't think there's any seats in there anymore either. So, But we're going to try to bring back some history uh, of some folks that visited here and played here. Uh, tons of history here. So we're going to walk around what remains of Tinker Field, and we're going to celebrate Tinker Field nonetheless. So come along with me and let's go take a look around. Here's a view from inside the ticket booth. I'm inside. Thank you for the dirt. Fantastic. Playoffs. Very dark in here. My guess this is where the coaches Got ready for the games. There's only a few lockers in here. No names up on the plaques though. Had to be the coaches area. Showers. Hmm. Yep. Entrance to the field.
Tinker Field was named Tinker Field after Joe Tinker, the famous Chicago Cub of the early 1900s. Now he was part of that double play combination, Tinker to Evers to Chance. Any baseball fan would recognize that slogan. Matter of fact, he was a member of the 1908 Chicago Cubs, which is the last time they even won a World Series. However, the field itself was built in 1914. Uh, the stadium, the seating, wasn't built until about 1923 and seated around 1,500 people. Now, Cincinnati Reds called that spring training home for 10 years, and the Brooklyn Dodgers followed them for two years. And then Clark Griffith moved his Washington Senators to Orlando at Tinker Field, and they trained there until they changed their name to the Minnesota Twins. And by then, Clark Griffith's son, Calvin Griffith, he kept the Twins there until 1990. Now when they tore down Griffith Stadium in Washington, D.C., they moved about a thousand of the seats to Tinker Field. Okay. Hope he's not coming here. Now this locker room here is a little bit separated from the players. So I believe right here behind the third base dugout is actually the umpire's uh, locker room. Coaches. I'm thinking maybe that's the locker room for the players. Won't budge. Can't budge that thing. Nice view. This uh, right there, the pitcher's mound, 1964, is the only time Martin Luther King uh, ever gave a speech in Orlando. It was from that pitcher's mound right there. This is where Dr. King was standing when he gave his speech. Just imagine as he looked up and saw the stadium full of people. Pretty neat. to the historic press box.
the original press box, as I'm told, to Tinker Field. A lot of history in this room. You think about the guys in the 20s were old timers. Talking about the ball game from this angle right here. Long before the Citrus Bowl was even there, of course. That's the west side of the Citrus Bowl. For those that don't know, a lot of history in this room right here. It's really amazing. I saw something move. I think it was just a big cobweb. Okay, well, that was pretty predictable. Are you guys ready? What you're hearing is coming from the Citrus Bowl. They're rehearsing something coming up soon. This will be the main concession area, right in here. Just pitch dark, so dark. If you can't read it, basically it's saying pizza at the table, pizza oven, stuff basically to keep the concession running. The other locker room. I'm guessing those are the doors. If you remember, I was trying to open it was locked behind the uh, third base dugout. I'm guessing this is the other side of those doors. Did I mention Babe Ruth played here? The stadium was different, but he played at this field. That's probably what I should say. He played at this field had many renovations since he was here. It's pretty much a duplicate of what you see on the other side. God, those lockers are amazing. I can tell some stories. Again, I'm thinking these are the coaches. Cool. I guess some of the vehicles to keep the field clean and such, maintenance area. helps at all. No. Ice machine, huh? What is that? Yeah. My guess is the vendors worked out of here to serve the people in the stands. And then I think over here, like I said, may have been where the vehicles were to drag the field and 
all that kind of maintenance work right over here. There's an Orlando Ray siding right there. Kind of ironic right here at home plate where they ripped out the home plate. This patch of grass is right where home plate was. Almost like it's clinging to life. Think of the pictures that threw from right there. Well, anyway, uh, thanks for watching my video out here at Tinkerfield. Uh, the historic Tinkerfield. And uh, thanks for sharing my videos as well. I'll see you next time. This was the practice field adjacent to Tinker Field, which I'll slide around. You can see it. There we go. So spinning around. Again, this is where they had one of their practice fields for years. I find it pretty cool. You can still faintly see the outline. You can see the, the grass is real smooth where the pitcher's mound was. And you can faintly see the baselines if you look close. Maybe hard in this video. Obviously the lights. This is pretty cool. Some old school first base dugout. Check that out. That's cool. If you look at the old photo here, you can see McCracken Field at the top of the old photo. Well, I hope you enjoyed this last walk around Tinker Field. And hey, thanks for watching.